Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical Land for Max Money Questions and let's have a look and see what we can do with the bokeh random effect. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro and we've got the uh, bokeh random effect and let's just add it to one of these things here. Let's add it to the smaller one so it takes a shorter time to do its rendering. This is just so that we can have a bit of a look at it and see what sort of things it does and how we can adjust it once we've got it in there. So let's see, we've got these uh, little things across the top now. These are the bokeh effect. If we look up this area over here, we can see that we can change it from being circles to hexagons. We can change the size of them. We can change the number of them. We can have more, we can change the pattern of them as well. And the speed, we can reduce the speed down. And we can also change the blur amount and the opacity. So there's quite a few different things there that we can do with this bokeh random effect. Let's just play that, although the rendering hasn't finished yet. Way to try and use the flare within these filters or within these effects. And we'll have to look at another way of putting a flare into our... So there you go, that's the bokeh random effect. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go into motion 5 and we're going to add some parameters to it. So here we are in motion and we've got the random bokeh effect which is derived from a Japanese term is the part of an image which is out of focus in a photograph because you have a certain depth of field and on this one here we've got the effect being random and it even moves around in your image it is animated so that's your bokeh effect for you and we can see our little uh, dots there they're round at the moment and this project uses a rig. It's got circles in there, effect source. It's got a few different things in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a parameter to it. This is actually a copy of the bokeh random effect. So we can do what we'd like with this without messing up the one that is there that we started from. So what I've done first of all is I've put in a photograph, one I took at the carnival. And just so that we can see the effect of that a little bit better, let's press play and there you go. We can see the effect better now. And when we make the changes to it, we'll be able to see what changes that we make a little bit easier as well. So what we're going to do now is going to have a look and see what parameters have been published. To do this, we go to the project thing here. We can see that the published parameters are circles type or the type of it, the blend mode is screen, we can change that obviously in Final Cut Pro and as you saw in Final Cut it is possible to change the size, number, pattern and speed and all that sort of thing ok so now let's go to this group here and we'll open that up so when we're looking inside this effect we can see that it's made up of a vortex source hexagons and circles and it's comprised basically of a rigged article particle parameters behaviors and a Gaussian blur filter and we'll have to uh, have a closer look at what you can do with rigging in another video so let's go to the circles group and select bokeh 4 then we're going to choose colorize from the color mode pop-up menu in the emitter inspector so there we go we're going to, instead of uh, going for over life we're going to choose colorize so what we'll do is we'll select a new color from the color parameter let's make it slightly yellow so now what we have to do is we have to go to the color parameters animation menu so we've got a downward triangle there, we put the pointer over the top of it so we get this pop-up menu or we can do a click on the parameters name and then we can choose publish from there so let's publish that so now let's click on the project object and we'll be able to view the modified published parameter list. So we need to go back up here to the project. And there you see at the bottom of that we now have colour as one of the parameters that we can change when we're in Final Cut Pro. It is also possible to remove parameters. So this one here, type. Tap on that there and we can choose to unpublish that clicking on that there and that would make it so that particular parameter the parameter where we are able to choose from either circles or hexagons and we can get rid of that so let's unpublish that so if we go to file and then save at this point here we get the option as to whether we want to keep this picture in this picture of the uh, carnival so if we don't want it in there we just click on don't copy 
So this new version of the Bokeh Random Effects will be available for us in Final Cut Pro 10. So there we go, there's our Bokeh Random Effect copy. And I'm going to drag that and drop that onto this one here. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to turn the first one off. So I just have the second one. You see the colour of the uh, circles are now yellow. If we look at this type, we have circles and hexagons available for us. That's in the original one. And in the second one here, we don't have type available for us, but we do have colour. So we can go to this here and choose if we want to make the uh, colour of those effects to be blue, perhaps. So there you go. That's how easy it is to take one of your filter effects that you have in Final Cut Pro, take it into Motion 5, add parameters that you can adjust, and also to take away parameters that you don't want to have in that filter anymore. It's another bit of a look at what you can do in Motion 5, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now. Yes, it's that time again. It's time for clicking that subscribe button and subscribing to the Wizard Gold Mac 20Q channel. And you'll know when the next video is coming out and it's ready for you to watch.